Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to our Friday Fireside Chat. Today, I'm going to tell you three simple ways to keep your family home out of probate. As my regular listeners know, I talk all the time about how a will alone does not keep your estate out of probate. For many families, the only thing that triggers the probate is the family home, especially if they've been named, able to name their children, whomever their beneficiaries are, on the beneficiary forms for their insurance, their retirement, their investment, POD at the bank. Sometimes the family home is the only thing we need to be concerned with, and if that's the case, here is what we can do. The first thing is a transfer upon death instrument. That is law we have in Illinois since 2012. And that law states that we can almost name a beneficiary in the home. It's the closest thing we can come to. So we draft an instrument that's a combination between a deed and a beneficiary form. We get it recorded against the property and upon the death of the owners of the property, it goes to whomever is named on that form couple of drawbacks with that one it only runs with that property so if mom and dad downsize in later years the investment in that has been lost and they have to start over again with a way to avoid probate it is also public record not everybody wants to know who's getting their property and not every child or beneficiary whomever is receiving it can have that information of public record they may have financial reasons they may have dissolution of marriage reasons there's good reasons sometimes to keep that information private it runs just with that one property it's very very public and it is bare bones it's there it's an option it's not ideal the second option for you is a simple trust for your home Many of you may be familiar with the bank trust or the title company. Your grandmother, your parent may have had the property in a bank trust. We've had these for many, many years. The bank trusts are not as common now. Many of our banks have been taken over by huge conglomerates who are not interested in the little trust department that got $100 or $125 per year to act as trustee of your trust. Who can be the trustee of your own trust? We don't need the bank. We don't need the title company so all you have to do is create a trust you can be the trustee you determine who's going to be in charge and that was the other element of the transfer upon death instrument that's not ideal you don't get to put someone in charge many of my clients know that there would be some squabbling amongst their children if one particular person wasn't in charge you cannot do that with the transfer upon death instrument our solution number one but you can do that with a trust it's private if you move downsize you can just sell that property out of the trust and move your new property into the trust you can determine who gets it that is not public record all that shows up in the public record is that you transferred your property into a trust and beautifully upon the death of mom and dad the property goes to whomever is named in that trust can be changed if you wanted and you get to determine who is in charge there are additional advantages to the trust when it comes to saving on nursing home costs but certainly staying out of probate is a big one the third option is a revocable living trust we talk often about that treasure chest so we said we could use that residential trust if we have beneficiaries on everything else and the tr and the home is the only thing keeping the property out of pro that would trigger a probate however for some families and we've talked about this many times there are issues that means you cannot name a child on a beneficiary form. It could again be because of their creditor situation. It may be special needs. It may be Medicaid. It may be receiving benefits. So not everyone has healthy, competent adult beneficiaries that they can name and only put the home in trust. So sometimes we need to create a larger 
treasure chest, put the home in there along with the other assets and then the terms of the trust with all its provisions and all of its protections would determine how everything goes. You know your family, you know what your budget is, you know what would work for you. If you need more help on any of that things, talk to me or talk to a good, professional, qualified, knowledgeable estate planning attorney. I'm going to leave you today with the words of Robert Montgomery. Home, which we've been talking about. Home, that spot of earth, supremely blessed. A dearer, sweeter spot than all the rest. I will see you next week, one of our last fireside chats, because as the sun comes out, the crocuses blossom, and we are entering spring, we will instead on Fridays have a spring tea. Until then, thanks for your company and goodbye.